Hey there, we are back yet again. And tonight I'm doing baked chicken parmesan. Again, one of these recipes I have not done before, so we'll hope it comes out okay. Um, and I'll try to read the whole recipe and do it correctly this time. All right, so um, we obviously, chicken breasts, we're gonna have some butter melted here shortly. We're gonna have some cheese later on it. We've got a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese and about three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs. And I'm actually going to put in <coughs> some uh, Italian seasoning, mix them with that, just because I want a little more flavor. And then we'll um, put it in the oven, bake it for a while. When it comes out, we'll put some sauce and stuff on it and bake it a little longer. And then we'll see how it goes. And while it's in there, we're going to be putting in some fettuccine to put this on top of some fettuccine when it's done. So, all right. So first things first, I'm going to show you. So I've, this is one chicken breast and it's been what they call butterflied. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you hopefully how to do this without taking off any fingers. So on the thick end of the breast, you want to start kind of slicing and you're trying to slice it in half. You see, I'm trying to get half of this done. So we're going to start slicing and come down like this. Now, once it gets about halfway down, you can flip it over here. And uh, the, the trick is, is trying to make sure you're cutting evenly through so one side of the breast doesn't get thinner than the other side. So now that it's almost all the way through, now it's a little bit easier to kind of start cutting and just spreading it as you go. And then, now that it's kind of cut all the way open, you have the breast butterfly that's spread open like that. So now we get four out of the, the two breasts that I had. So I'm going to rinse off real quick here since it's all chicken fingers. And the next thing we'll do is we're going to melt our butter. This is about three tablespoons of butter. We're going to melt that in the microwave. First, you don't want it to get too melted, too buttery. All right, breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and we're almost done with this jar of seasoning. Let's see. I won't put too much in. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. All right, and we're gonna mix that up. They're all combined in here. And once the butter is melted, but not hopefully boiling, we'll take a little brush. We'll get in the butter. We'll slather the chicken and then put that in the breadcrumbs and that should make the breadcrumbs adhere to the chicken breast. So, there's our butter. Let's see if it's melted. It is. Okay, so I had the butter sitting out for a while earlier, so it got soft already. And then uh, with just on one minute, it melted down really good. So, all right, so I'm going to take the brush and brush. Chicken like that. And then I'm gonna be really messy and turn it over and do the other side. Just brush it on liberally so that everything is coated really well with it. All right, that should be good. 
good for that. All right, gotta get the other sides too. Sorry, I almost forgot those sides. butter on all sides of the chicken and you know the chicken is wet enough that it might have stuck to it all by itself anyway but the butter is going to make the crumbs get a little browner and everything so all right now I've taken a large baking pan and I'm gonna put it right here and I've sprayed it lightly with some cooking spray and now I take this and coat the chicken. And I'm just gonna put the breast right there, lay them out, give them evenly spaced so that it can get cooked well. Baked, not guess, not cooked, baked well. Now I think this recipe actually was for four chicken breasts, which would have left eight pieces, but I'm only doing two breasts to, to cut them into fours. Um, so I might, depending on how this, well this turns out, still probably have some of this breadcrumb mixture left over. Might just do this again later this week. Okay, we have breadcrumbs on our chicken and on our hands and everywhere else. Okay, at this point, this just goes in the oven. It's gonna bake for about 25 minutes. Like so. And in about 15 minutes, I'll, I'll start the fettuccine going so that hopefully everything will be mashed up when it's all done. Third time. And we have, I started making French bread earlier today too, in our little bread maker. So we'll have some nice warm French bread to go with our big Parmesan chicken on top of fettuccine with the marinara sauce. It's gonna be scrumptious, I just can't wait. So um, we'll be back when I'm, I'm ready to pull this chicken out. By that time the fettuccine will already be boiling away. I know you know how to boil pasta, so I'm not really gonna put that in here. You got that, you can manage that part. So we'll come back when I'm ready to pull the chicken out, put a little marinara and cheese on, and then we'll have finish the meal, hopefully. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. All right, um, we are going to, the, the fettuccine over here is starting to do its thing, so we're gonna pull out the chicken here. And briefly put on, gonna spoon on some marinara, and then we're gonna sprinkle it with some mozzarella cheese and let it bake about another five minutes or so. So. Just a tablespoon or so on each piece. Put on some cheese. Then we just put it back in for five minutes or so it says. So we'll put that back in. I've actually turned the heat down because it looks like it's pretty well done already. My oven cooks pretty hot. So um, I'm just gonna put it in here for a couple of minutes. I turned the heat down from the 450 that was down to about 350, just because I don't want it to get too overburned here. Our bread is done over here, so 
In a couple minutes, we'll be back, hopefully, pull out the chicken, have some pasta to put it on, have some fresh bread to chop up and, and put some butter and dip in the marinara, and I was gonna say voila, but that's French, not, not Italian, so whatever it is in Italian, it'll be wonderful, so. Okay, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, we're back, ready to pull our chicken out. Cheese is all melty. Marinara is all warm. And we are just about ready for our fettuccine. That boil for another minute, and I will. Our French bread is nice and just. We'll do a little. Slicing of the bread. Mm. So warm. Hot, hot. Bread maker. Ooh, hot. Ooh. Smells good. Put a little butter on it. Hear that slurping noise? That's our one of our dogs that decided to come in and water himself while we're didn't want you thinking that was my wife back here making slurping noises while she was videoing us. That would be Dobby. He's the crazy one. Back like that, let that butter melt in. All right, I think we're ready for. Oh, and this, and now we've got the other one, Bear and Dobby. Checking to see what Dad's doing in here. All right, pasta. <laughs> Couple of plates. Just because I like my hair. And I don't know, maybe a little more Parmesan cheese on top? Sounds like a plan to me, so. John. And now our fresh made French bed and voila in Italian. <laughs> Whatever that is. Um, it looks really hot so I'm not going to eat it on, on the, my 
taste test like I normally do because you'll probably just hear me say loud bad words when I burn myself. So I'm gonna presume it's really good. You can try this recipe and actually let me know what you think. Um, that's it for now. Baked Parmesan chicken with, obviously, we made our own French bread, but you can buy some kind of bread at the store. Kind of adds to the meal. And that's it. We'll see you next time.